did my undergraduate work at the University of California in Berkeley. And I took a degree in soil science. And the reason uh, I've told uh, you before is because I had done a lot of uh, gardening work. Uh, this was during the Depression years, and very often people would ask me, what can I add to my soil to make things grow better? So I thought that if I learned how to analyze soils, I could set up a soil testing laboratory and make some money. What I found out was uh, that you cannot do that. That you cannot, on the basis of a chemical analysis alone, determine what kind of fertilizer have to be added. But during that time, I uh, worked as a technician to the man, Dr. Barker, who subsequently became my mentor. And it was during that period that I learned a little bit of how to make to, and do science. Uh, then uh, during the war I went on the Alcan Highway as a soils major. And uh, when I returned, uh, I visited my old professor, uh, Barker, and he offered me a job uh, working on a new project that he had agreed to work on, which was the browning of dried apricots. I spent five years in the food technology department studying the browning of dried apricots. After that, I uh, decided to get a PhD degree. I went to graduate school again at the University of California, and I uh, got a degree in comparative biochemistry and my mentor for this study was again H. A. Barker. After that, I took a, a postdoctoral fellowship at uh, the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. Spent one year there working in the laboratory of Dr. Fritz Lippmann. And after that, I came uh, to NIH.